What's up guys, David here and welcome to the FitPro Daily. This week is all about creating additional products and services within your fitness business to really help the cash flow in your fitness business and almost give you an additional side income. We started off on Monday with Alex Nestoratos coming on to share his, uh, his knowledge and his insight in setting up a supplement side to your fitness business. Then yesterday we looked at five different things or five different products and services that you could potentially offer within your fitness business, again, to create an additional side income. Today though, I want to go over how you generate these ideas and where you get these ideas from. But before we do dive into today's video, if you haven't already come to join us inside our free Facebook group, then head over to Facebook, search for FitPro Lead Gen with Dave, request to join and get access to even more guest interviews, insights, tips, tricks, live sessions, and so much more. Anyway, let's dive into today's video. Okay, so let's get started. So yesterday we gave you five different products and services that you could potentially do. But if you're not sure about what type of topics or what type of services or even if these things are going to work, then how do you decide if you should do it or not. So one of the things we always do at the EKNI Fitness is every single quarter, we send out a feedback form to our clients. We ask them to rate us on different things from how they feel when they turn up to how the sessions were to what our um, offline or out of gym support is like, what their nutrition is like, any suggestions that they can think of. With most of the questions, it's literally one out of five ratings. So without them having to give any additional comments, we keep it simple like that. What we do at the end, the final question, is there anything else you'd like to add? And this is their opportunity to add some more comments in. For the simple reason, we don't want to have to second guess what they're saying with a star rating. One is terrible, five is the best, so we get a good idea of how we're doing. But the additional comments is their chance to express just a little bit about what they're doing. So what they're putting in there gives you a good idea insight into what they're thinking of, how they're reacting, what more you could potentially do for them, which gives you an idea of products and services. Same for clothing. Yesterday we talked about once a month you post out saying that you're putting an order in. Maybe you say, this month, guys, I'm going to put an order in for clothing. Who would be interested in hoodies and t-shirts and leggings? See who's showing interest in what, suggest some new products, ideas, or even ask, guys, I'm thinking of getting some merchandise for the fitness studio or for the gym, for the boot camp. What type of things would you be most interested in? So today's topic, what's working? It's asking for feedback, asking for insights, asking for more information from your clients, the people who already pay you. They're gonna be the ones that give you the best ideas and go from there. So I'm gonna leave it there. Go and ask your clients, go and ask your fans for any insights, any, any thoughts that they have about how to make things better and you'll get some good ideas. I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Cheers.